picture frames. I've got this nice picture here, but it, it needs a frame to decorate it. So we've got our popsicle sticks here. We're going to make two different styles of frames. Um, one that, you know, has a traditional hole with an edge around it so you can see the picture through, and then one that's like a cute background that you put your picture frames on. So I'm starting out here. I've got my nice pa parchment paper down. If you got wax paper, a plastic tablecloth, something that you can put gluey popsicle sticks on and not make a big mess is excellent. All right, so for this first one, this is going to be the picture frame with the with the hole in the middle. I've got six popsicle sticks here. Um, you can see I've got these wide ones like you have at the doctor's office, but there's all kinds of popsicle sticks out there. So if you have a different style of popsicle stick or if you have a picture that is a different shape or size, what you're going to want to do is get some popsicle sticks and figure out how many you're going to need to Get a nice frame around your pictures there. So you can see, you know, I kind of measured it out. Okay, yeah, so I see our six popsicle sticks are going to work for my picture, but if you have different size popsicle sticks or a, a different size picture, make sure you lay your unglued popsicle sticks out first. Make sure that your picture is going to fit in there in the end. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, you saw the way I was going to have my, my picture frame go. I'm going to glue along the side to get two sets of popsicle sticks there. So I got my glue. I'm gonna just glue right along the edge. Okay, glue along the side and just connect it to the next one there. If you got some extra glue on the top, you can wipe it off with a little paper towel or something, or if you like that glue up look, that's fine. If you're planning on painting at the end, then uh, you can just paint right over any glue that's sticking up. Or um, if you're planning on putting like stickers or, or 
or sparkles or something on there, then you don't have to worry about it as much. But if you like the nice plain look, then you probably want to wipe your glue off. Okay, so we got our two sets here. And uh, mine, are, mine, you can tell the glue's coming out the bottom a little bit. It's kind of sticking down to the paper there. So I'm glad I got that protecting my table. Next, I'm going to put this popsicle stick on. Um, now what I'm doing here is I'm building my popsicle stick frame from the front to the back. So the front of my frame is the stuff that's down. So um, if you want to have these long ones be the ones in front, you're going to want to do it this way where your, you know, your popsicle sticks are resting on the back. But if you want it the other way with these up and down ones, you know, being the ones you see, then you'll want to put that in the front. But um, I like it in the back because these ones are a little bit bigger space that gives me more room to decorate. So what I'm going to do is just glue these guys down. And you want to slide your popsicle sticks until they're in just the right place. Line it up nice and square if you can. Okay, so you can see we've got our popsicle sticks here. You've got your window for your picture. And um, now if you wanna just glue your picture right in there, you can, you can plop your picture on the back and glue around the edges, but I wanna make a picture frame where I can change out the picture if I want. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece of paper to go on the back of this. I'm just gonna give it a, you know, an approximate trim so that it's gonna fill up the back. Okay. Now that's small enough that it's not going to show on the front uh, when I have my picture in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the very edges of the paper and I'm going to leave one edge open so I can slip my picture in and out. I'm going to leave the top edge open. So I got my glue around my paper edges. I left my top open and I'm going to flip it over and glue it on those popsicle sticks. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to set that aside so it can dry, and we're going to work on our next one. All right, so now we're going to work on our next popsicle stick frame. For this one, I've got 10 popsicle sticks. Same deal as with the last one. You know, I laid them out first, made sure they were big enough that my picture was going to fit all the way across them and, and hold the whole thing. So take your picture, line it up with the size popsicle sticks you've gotten, and, and figure out maybe you need 10 like I do, maybe you need a few less. Um, I've also got two that I've trimmed that are going to be our stand, just in case you want a picture frame that stands up on its own. So the first thing, remember how we glued those popsicle sticks in our pairs earlier? We glued along the side. We're going to do the same thing with these, but we're going to glue all the sides together. Now I'm going to glue them straight across, you know, just a, a nice rectangle, but if you want to get really fancy, you can do them like up in the middle and down on the side like that. However you want to glue them together, we're just going to glue along the side as we did before and stick them all together. Okay, so I've got all my popsicle sticks glued on here. Um, I've got them arranged in my nice rectangle. You've got them arranged whatever way you want. And um, now, for this picture frame, I want something that's gonna stand up on its, um, on its own. So we're gonna do some some popsicle stick hot gluing. So um, see here, I've got one of my regular popsicle sticks. Now I already prepped these. Um, this part is really hard. You might need a grown up to help you with this one. If your grown up has a saw, that's gonna make it really easy, but I don't have a saw here, so I just used scissors. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut part of this popsicle stick off so that I've got an angle here. Then when I glue this on, that angle is gonna make this popsicle stick you know, stick down towards the ground. So it's gonna help hold my popsicle stick frame up without, um, you know, without falling down or tipping side to side. So um, all I'm gonna do is take my scissors and I'm gonna cut at an angle. You're gonna hear your popsicle stick make some crunchy noises. And uh, you know what? I've got a nice edge there. I'm gonna hold it up and see, does that lay flat? It does, looks good. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your popsicle sticks are cut at the same angle, otherwise your picture frame is gonna end up a little wobbly. Okay, so 
You remember um, we did our, our popsicle sticks, we cut them at an angle. I've got my popsicle stick frames here that are, they're dry and ready to go. Uh, you can see mine wasn't staying together very well. Some of my popsicle sticks were a little crooked. Uh, so I just put some extra reinforcements on the back to make sure if your popsicle stick frame needs it, go ahead and, and just glue some extra reinforcements on the back. You can decorate these super cool frames any way you like. Um, we can show you a few different things. These are foam stickers and just stuck them right on there. They stick real good. Um, these ones are some, some sequins that I glued down, nice stars. They stay on good. Um, you can see here, um, I used a marker. Um, you can color on these all you want. Be where when you use marker on a popsicle stick, you're gonna see, um, I just did little dots here, but you can see that the marker, the ink in the marker bled along the grain lines of the popsicle stick. So my dots, they kind of stretched out along the grain. So if you're gonna use a marker, beware that's what your marker is gonna do. Over here you can see that I used some paint. I painted my popsicle sticks purple and I glued some little shells on there. You can really put anything on here, it's pretty awesome. So um, now um, we're, gonna, we're gonna just do the finishing touches. Um, this picture frame is ready to go. I'm just, gonna, um, I'm just gonna have it laying on my desk like that, I think. But if you wanted, you could put some magnets on the back, stick it on the fridge. You could do our, um, our stand method. I'm gonna show you with this one in a minute. Um, there's a, a few different ways you can get your popsicle stick frame ready to stand up. Okay, now this one, uh, you know, we put that paper on the back of our other picture frame uh, because we wanted that to hold our picture in, but um, this one, it needs a little help to hold our picture. You know, I got those shells down there that kind of holds it, but if a breeze comes along, whew, my picture is gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue a clip on here. And um, I'm gonna use hot glue so it, it will dry really fast so you guys can, can see what it looks like without having to wait here. But um, if you have just regular glue, go with just regular glue, that's totally fine. All right, so I got my hot glue gun here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my clip. If you have a cuter clip than this, that probably will look even better. And I'm gonna glue it down. You can see I tried the regular glue earlier and it, it just, didn't dry fast enough. All right, so that's gonna dry for just a quick second. And um, we're also gonna use the glue gun here. Um, you can use regular glue if, at home if you don't have a glue gun. I'm gonna use the glue gun here to, to show, show it to you fast because the glue gun dries pretty quick. Um, remember, we cut these popsicle sticks angled so that we could put them on our picture frame to have it, you know, kind of like a stand. So um, I'm gonna glue these on with the hot glue gun. Let's make sure that's on, good. And um, then our picture frame will be ready to stand up. If you have your regular glue, you're probably also gonna need some tape at this point um, to, to get these to stay up while they dry. You'll wanna put some masking tape or some painter's tape or something on there just to help them stay in place while they're drying. You can see I'm putting the glue along the cut edge there and I'm pressing the glue onto the picture frame. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that edge is flat against your popsicle sticks. If you're using a hot glue gun, make sure you have a grown up there helping you. All right, so there we go. Our picture frame's ready to stand up and we've got our nice little <laughs> Sometimes it'll happen, that's okay. We can just glue it back on. You know, craft projects, they sometimes don't go the way you planned. You gotta just try it again. All right, let's see if we're ready to go here. I'm gonna clip my picture right in there. There, we got that cute little picture frame. Our clip's working. It's got those shells. And look, the back is standing up with our with our kickstands, I guess. I don't know what that part of the picture frame's called. All right, so let's work on our next project. Okay, so we're gonna work on our next project. We got a super cute little box, bird feeder box, whatever you wanna uh, use it for, you're good. Uh, we're gonna need popsicle sticks uh, for this project. We're also gonna need some glue and possibly some scissors, depending on the different sizes of popsicle sticks you've got and the design you wanna go for. I got a little splinter on one of mine. Watch out for those. You can peel that off. Make sure you don't get a splinter. 
Okay, so um, for my bird feeder, um, I, I sort of laid out my popsicle sticks before I got started to make sure that I knew how many I would need to make a square with a bottom. So for my popsicle sticks, I know that eight of these big guys is how many I need to make a square that can hold these edges. Um, if your popsicle sticks are skinnier, maybe like these ones, you'll probably need more to make your square. Um, so just lay out your popsicle sticks, see how many you need to get to the length of another popsicle stick. All right, so uh, I'm gonna need eight for my bottom and then I'm gonna make fancy sides here on my bird feeder. I'm gonna make them like this. Um, it's got this cute little blue line in the middle. But if you only have one, one style of popsicle sticks, you know, you can, you can make your side like this, draw something cute on it. If you want a really tall bird feeder, you know, you can have four popsicle stick high sides, whatever you want. Um, kind of lay out, plan what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do this, uh, sort of a cute design for my sides. So I'm gonna need four sets of these. So you can see I got these four guys here and I've got eight of my big popsicle sticks. Now, before we get to gluing, um, I gotta do a little prep work. So as you saw, I got these laid out here, but you know what? If I put my popsicle stick here and I put my popsicle stick here, I can't really glue the sides together well and keep all the popsicle stick on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these edges so that they're flat across. Uh, I'm gonna do that on a lot of popsicle sticks. It takes a lot of work, so um, if you have a grown up with a saw, this is the time to use them. That will work a lot better than the scissors. But if all you got are scissors, then that's all you got. That's all I got here. So um, to get these, you know, uh, flat on the edges, I'm gonna take my scissors here and I'm gonna give them a trim. Woo! You'll have a little mess to clean up after this part. Okay. So I got my popsicle stick with these straight edges here. Um, yours might be, you know, depends on the, the type of popsicle sticks you got. Mine, um, they compressed a little here. It's not very sharp, but if yours are kind of splintery, just get out a little sandpaper, give them a, a rub, make sure they're not gonna hurt you. And um, to make sure that all my popsicle sticks are the same size, I'm gonna take my pencil here and I'm gonna just draw where I need to cut on all of them. Okay, so you can see now, when I've got my flat edges here, I'm gonna have something nice um, nice and even to glue together. And look at that. I'm gonna be able to glue those corners together and all the edges will stay on my popsicle stick bottom. So um, prep all your popsicle sticks, get them ready to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the ends off here and, and get them ready to go and then we will start gluing. All right, so um, we're gonna start out with the bottom of our bird feeder, and um, this is gonna work if you did our picture frame, the second style of picture frame with the clip on it, this is gonna work pretty similar to that. I've got my eight popsicle sticks here. Um, I'm just gonna glue the sides together on to, to make sure that we have, um, you know, a nice, a nice base for our, our bird feeder. Okay, we got our popsicle stick bottom here glued together. That's ready for our box. Remember, we gotta make the sides now. And um, now if you're just doing a, a one layer thing, you can put your sides on, you're ready to go. But uh, remember, I'm doing this little bit of a fancy thing. So I'm gonna, let's see, let me move that to the side a little bit. I'm gonna make my fancy popsicle stick sides. If you're making tall sides, but they don't have, you know, like a different color in the middle, that's fine. You can, you can get your, um, your sides with the plain popsicle sticks ready to go, whatever kind of sides you're doing. If they're more than one popsicle stick high, you're gonna wanna glue them together and get them prepped. Now you can see we did that just like we did with the um, popsicle sticks for the bottom here, but um, we've got, uh, you know, Stopping after these three, we've got a different size in the middle, but the technique still works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together my other four sides, and then um, once it's all dry, we'll put our sides on the bottom. Okay, we're back here, all my pieces are dried. There's my 
bottom for my bird feeder and I've got all my four sides here with the edges trimmed and uh, I do a little sanding on them to get them to get them nice and uh, smooth for me. Now you'll notice remember I have them drying here on this parchment paper and and the gravity is bringing that glue down towards the bottom so you can see on the back of some of mine I've got some little glue bits a little a little of the blue dye has shifted over so when I put these on to make it look nice I'm gonna put the side that was up towards the outside of my bird feeder so that the you know the side without the little glue bits on it is what's showing so we've got our bottom here we've got our sides here um, I'm going to use a hot glue gun for this part so that it will dry fast and you guys can see the finished product um, right away. But if you don't have a hot glue gun at home or um, your grown-up doesn't want you to use one, you can definitely do this part with regular glue. You are going to need some masking tape to help you out if that's the case. Um, so if you've got your regular glue, you're just going to you know, put it along the sides and, and stick them together here. I'll show you what that looks like quick and then I'll take it apart and put it together with hot glue. So um, for mine, I have this little gap here because I have these shorter popsicle sticks that don't go all the way to the end. But uh, I put my glue on. I'm going to stick those sides together. I'm going to do that on all four of them and then glue it down to the base in a nice square shape. Um, if you have, you know, just regular glue and you need to do this, what you're going to do is uh, put these together and then take your nice piece of masking tape, painter's tape, stick it there, wrap it around the corner and over there. That'll hold these together while they dry. As you can see, they'll just fall right apart if I try and dry them this way uh, because they won't stand up, you know, and, and stick together very well. They might stay together, but then, you know, somebody, somebody's little brother or little sister runs by the table and bam, they're apart. So you're going to want to use tape if that's your method. All right, so I've got my hot glue gun here. And I'm going to glue these together. It's going to dry fast because I've got the hot glue gun here. But um, you can definitely do it without the hot glue gun. So we've got all our, our sides glued here together. You know those hot glue guns, they have those strings sometimes. Um, I'm gonna show you my joints close up here. Um, so you can see I have one side, you know, you can see the raw edges of the popsicle stick, but the other side, those raw edges are inside my square here. Um, so that is gonna help give it a little bit more stability than if I just, you know, like try to fill in the, the corner with glue. So on all my edges, I did the same thing. Um, I have it so that, you know, parallel edges are, in e are on the inside and then these parallel edges here are on the outside. Um, if you set yours up like that, you'll have a nice, nice looking square. All right, so now we have our square. If you used, um, if you used just regular glue, not the hot glue gun, you're gonna need to let that sit to dry overnight before you, um, before you really wanna move it. But um, since I used the hot glue gun, mine is ready to go. You can take a look and see if you think, you know, maybe this side needs to be the top or that should be the bottom. If it doesn't matter to you, then it doesn't matter. If you have an idea of which way you want it to go, then get it lined up, ready to glue on. So um, if you got regular glue, you can just put your regular glue along there, plop it down, uh, maybe put a book on top to, to keep it nice and tight overnight while it dries. Um, I'm gonna use a hot glue gun Again, just so it dries really fast and I can show you guys in the video without having to film over multiple days here. So I'm gluing along the edge. All right, so you got your glue on. You're just going to line it up. I'm doing it by eyeball. I'm usually pretty good at finding, you know, where's the middle. And it doesn't bother me too much if it's not exactly in the middle. But if you want it exactly in the middle, you can get a ruler out and make sure it's, it's right in the middle. All right. So mine's, mine's together. Now I use hot glue, so that's gonna dry fast. So while that's drying, um, we can put some strings on it. Now if you wanted just a box, you're ready to go. That's a nice box. You can put it on your desk, stick your pencils in it, uh, what have you. Um, mine's gonna be a bird feeder. Uh, so I need something to hang it in a tree. I've got here just some plain old string. I'm gonna cut two strings that are the same length and um, how long you cut them is going to depend on how far down from the tree you need your bird feeder to hang. So whatever you're hanging it off of, um, see how far down you want it to go. And however far down you want it to go, your string needs to be double that length. You can see I've got some 
kind of long strings here. Okay, so I got my strings here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie them in the middle. Give myself a little loop to hang them, but also keep the strings lined up together at the top there so that, um, you know, it's not shifting and spilling in the wind or if a squirrel jumps on it. Okay, I got this nice loop to hang my bird feeder from. And I've got these four strings coming down. I'm gonna tie one string around each corner here. Now, you remember my popsicle sticks, the middle ones weren't as short, so I've already got this nice hole ready to go, put my strings through. But um, if you made your bird feeder different and you don't have holes in the corner there, you can still do this. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, you can have a grown-up help you drill a hole in the side there. You can glue your string down if you if you get your um, glue out. You can glue your string right in there. Let it dry before you try picking it up by the strings though, if that's the case. Uh, there's, there's a few different ways you can attach these if you have a different design than I do here. All right, so I've got all my strings on and there we go, I can pick it up. Looks like this side is a little bit lower, so you know if I want, I can untie that and readjust um, till, till it's exactly the way I want it hung. Um, it, you know, if that's not your cup of tea, if you don't want to untie it, you could also tie a little knot right there, bring it up um, however you want, and there you go, there's your bird feeder. Nice job. All right, friends, we're here on our last project. This is this really cool um, bridge. The only thing you need for this project is popsicle sticks and perhaps a book if you're gonna make a really big one and you're on your own and don't have help. So, um, as you can see, this, this pretty cool popsicle stick bridge is kind of held together with tension. Um, it'll fall apart really easily into just regular popsicle sticks. Um, so this is one that you can, you can do if it falls apart in the middle of it. Don't worry, you can just try again. It took me a few tries the first time I did this. Um, I got a little frustrated. So if you get frustrated, don't worry. Um, it'll be totally fine. Uh, for this first, I'm gonna do like a, a little one first to show you the method, but um, it's just a pattern you can keep extending. So first we're gonna make a little one. I'll show you the method. And then my friend Susanna and I are gonna make a big popsicle stick bridge um, right here on this table. And we'll challenge you to see how big you can make your popsicle stick bridge. So for this first little one where we're learning the method, I'm gonna have a color-coded system here. So we're gonna have some popsicle sticks going this way across the length of our bridge, and some going this way to support our bridge at specific points. So for the supports, I'm gonna use these, these plain wood-colored popsicle sticks. Those are gonna be all my up and down ones. And then in our across popsicle sticks, we're gonna have popsicle sticks in three positions. They might be all the way to the outside, they might be in the medium position or they might be right next to each other um, together. So for our ones all the way on the outside, I'm gonna use these green popsicle sticks. For our ones in the medium position, I'm gonna use purple. And for our ones in the, in the inside position, I'm gonna use these blue ones. All right, now to get started, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with some medium position um, popsicle sticks. So um, our together ones will be right next to each other. Medium ones will have room in the middle for two next to each other, but um, they won't be all the way to the outside. Our outside ones will have space for two sets in the middle. So um, I'm gonna get started. You can adjust as you go. So if your popsicle sticks happen to be a smidge too close together, you can just adjust them when you need to. So I've got my two popsicle sticks in my medium position ready to go. And I'm gonna put one up and down popsicle stick support on top. Then I'm gonna take my blue popsicle sticks because I'm going in the middle next. I'm gonna put them on top. Each of these longwise popsicle sticks is gonna have a point where it hits three up and downs, um, except these ones on the end. So any popsicle sticks in the middle going this way are gonna cross a support beam at three places. At the ends, they are gonna cross over those support pieces, but in the middle, they're gonna cross under. So um, 
We've got our two inside pieces here. We need another support popsicle. So um, we're gonna put this one over top of those middle ones because remember in the middle, we're gonna need the popsicle stick over top. But these purple ones, we're already placing it at the end and the end needs to be on top of the support one. So this is where the tricky part comes in. You're gonna need to pull your popsicle stick ends so they go over that support beam while your middle popsicle sticks stay under. You can see our, our bridge is already starting to pop up a little bit. Now the reason that this works is you can see our popsicle stick here is pretty strong but it still has a little bit of bend to it and when we put a little bit of bend to it that puts some tension in there and that tension can hold our whole bridge together. So um, we've got a set on the outside, a set in the medium position. We got a set on the inside. Next up, we're going to do a set on the outside, and we're going to set these on top of that support popsicle stick. Because remember, our ends need to be on top of a support popsicle stick. Then we got to place our middle one. Now for the greens, it, this support popsicle stick is indeed going to be in the middle, so it goes over, but it's at the end of our blue popsicle stick. So the blue ones they need to go on top. This is where it gets really helpful if you have a friend or a sibling or a parent working with you because uh, these things, they can get pretty tight and you might need someone to help you uh, pull it up, put it down, uh, get it in the right spot. All right, so we have our popsicle stick set there. Next up, we gotta put some more long wise ones in. Um, I'm gonna do another set in the medium position. So you can see here um, that every time we, you know, go to a, a, a new support popsicle stick, one set is ending, one set's in the middle, sometimes we have a set beginning, um, and you're just gonna know where to put those beginning popsicle sticks based on where there's a free space. So we're gonna need a middle set of popsicle sticks here to start because that's where our free space is. We're gonna put our popsicle sticks there. And then, just like we've been doing, we need another support popsicle stick over top. So um, remember, the green ones are coming to the end, so those need to go over, but our purple ones, that's in the middle, so those need to stay under. So I'm gonna bring these green ones over top and slide that popsicle stick into place. Wow, look, our bridge is already popping up even more. Okay, um, our last set for our demo is gonna be a set of inside popsicle sticks. Um, now, if you are doing a really big bridge and you're all on your own and you're having a hard time holding the bridge down while you get the next popsicle sticks in place, a great trick, grab a book. Any book will do. There's no glue in this project so you don't have to worry about ruining your books. Uh, you can put the book on your bridge to help hold it down while you put your popsicle sticks in place. And then when your bridge is ready to go, be careful, put your hand there while you remove your book because you're gonna wanna lift your bridge slowly if you got a really big one and you just let it go, it might jump so high that it comes apart. There we go, we've got our nice little bridge. Uh, as you can see, it can be kind of tippy. Remember, there's no glue in here, so um, if you've got it a little crooked, just use your hand, bring it back down, kind of square up those popsicle sticks wherever they need to be. Um, if you see something a little crooked or you need to line them up in the middle, there you go, you're good to go. All right, friends, here we are. We're gonna make a giant popsicle stick bridge for you. Let's see if you can make yours longer than Suzanne and I can make ours. Um, I've got here just a ton of popsicle sticks. I got this, this giant bag here. Um, I've got a book to help us hold things down because there's just two of us and this is gonna be a long bridge. And you know what? Susanna doesn't live at my house, so I gotta wear a mask while we're working on a project together to help keep everyone safe. So let's get to it. All right, friends, the moment of truth.
Um, if you get it and it stays in place, you're good to go. Um, if, if it falls apart, it's just popsicle sticks. You can redo it, put it back together, and try again. I give all our popsicle stick crafts an, a try here, and then send us a picture. Put it in the comments. We want to see what you made. Have a great day.